the video you are about to see will instruct you on how to install and configure a secure virtual private network connection to the University of Waterloo. This video was created using Windows 7 and Internet Explorer 9. If you are using a browser other than Internet Explorer, you may first be required to download and install the VPN client software. With the VPN client installed on your home computer or laptop, you will be able to access the data from your work computer, university network home directory, or any Wi-Fi connection in the world. Please note that you must be logged into your computer as an administrator to complete the VPN software installation. You will only need to perform the VPN installation once on each of the computers that you use to connect to the university. Now from the University of Waterloo homepage, select search in the upper right hand corner and type VPN and press enter. On the next page, click on University of Waterloo VPN Service Information Systems and you will be directed to our next step. This page contains details of VPN, but we're going to skip this part and you can revisit this page later for more involved VPN information. Now scroll down this page and click on Windows. After selecting Windows, you will see screenshots with step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the VPN client. But instead of going into the detail of those directions, we will break down the complete VPN installation process. To continue, select this link. Next is a VPN logon screen. Here, enter your UW user ID and your WADIAM password, then select logon. If you use Windows 7 or Vista and Internet Explorer 7 or later, you may need to add the site CN dash vpn dot uwaterloo dot ca to your Internet Explorer trusted sites list before continuing. The site address should be filled in automatically. If it's not, now would be a good time to add it. To do this, go to Tools, Internet Options, Security, Trusted Sites, Sites, as suggested, the site has already been added. Had it not been, just click Add and enter the address https colon forward slash forward slash cn dash vpn dot uwaterloo dot ca. Right now we'll click Close, OK, and continue on with the installation. Next, Select Start AnyConnect. This step could take some time, but once installation is started, do not exit or log out. As the installation continues, you will see various message windows. When the message applet appears asking, do you want to allow this program from an unknown publisher to make changes, click yes. Finally, you're notified that a connection has been established. Once that connection has been made, you'll see the Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client Applet. In the task tray, there's an icon that can be used to connect or disconnect your VPN session. In this next step, we will connect to your home directory or commonly known as your N drive at the university. After connected from the start menu, select computer, then map network drive. Continuing on, you can use any drive letter that you want to, but you may find it more convenient to use a letter N to map to your home directory, so as to match the one that you use at work. The network folder that you will use will likely follow a format such as this, backslash backslash, the faculty server name, dot uwaterloo dot ca, the unit and your UW user ID. The unit may or may not be used. 
If you are unsure of your folder path to your home directory, contact your faculty's consulting office. Now we'll take a look at a real-time connection to a home directory or N-Drive at the University of Waterloo using a virtual private network or VPN. On the taskbar, select the AnyConnect icon. Then click Connect. And in a few moments, the Cisco AnyConnect applet appears. Enter your password and click OK. Next, we'll connect to your home directory. From the Start menu, click on Computer, and then click on Map Network Drive. As mentioned previously, you may use any drive letter that you want, but consider using N so as to be the same as the one that you use at the university. In the folder white space, enter the network path to your home directory. Then select Reconnect at Logon. Selecting Reconnect, you will no longer have to enter the path to your home directory, although you will still have to authenticate. Next, click Finish. Before you enter your username, it is necessary to enter a prefix before your UW user ID. There are many different prefixes used across campus, so check with your faculty's consulting office to find the one that you should use.